All right, so this is probably the only steeple-specific stretch that you should do, and it basically just stretches your hip flexor so, so that you can get your ankle high enough to have efficient hurdling form, and you can bend over a little bit to stretch that tendon a little more, and get you this ass. All right, so this is the first steeple drill, um, and notice here how you're really attacking with your your front foot and your back foot is fully pointed, so it's it's pointing into the ground. Uh, the best thing to focus on here is the front leg drive and the arm follow through. You want your arm to be about in front of your face. Um, see it here. And yeah, 10 or so on each side. But yeah, the, the lead foot drive and the um, opposing arm drive are the important things to focus on there. So this next drill is these trail leg pull throughs. You can see I'm standing about with my heels in line with the base of the hurdle and far enough away from the thing I'm leaning up against that my back is about at 45 degrees with arms bent a little bit at the elbow, not too bent. Um, but your butt should also be in line with the top of the hurdle. And the thing to focus on here is keeping your heel tucked in close to your butt as you pull through. And uh, getting that, that knee drive is important too. And keeping your chest fairly square to the thing you're leaning against and looking up with your head because that's the position your neck will be in when you're actually hurdling. Do these slowly at first until you get the muscle memory down. All right, so this drill is all about the lead leg. You can see here that the knee drive happens first, keeping your lead arm high, and then you flick your ankle out over the hurdle and pull it back to the track. The idea here is that the faster you can get your lead leg back to the track, the faster you're running again. So this is all about being quick with your lead leg. And I would suggest going very slowly at this at first, even doing some half reps and some very, very slow reps, just focusing on that knee drive. It's not a very natural motion. So yeah, do some half reps like that. Just get the knee drive down and then pull through. Next is walkthroughs. And you want to set up with the big step with your lead leg and with the opposing arm high. Um, get your heel just a little bit in front of the hurdle that you're pulling your trail leg over. And then pull that lead arm back as you pull your trail leg forward, keeping your ankle close to your butt. And then do it again. Ideally, you do this over three hurdles, but there are only two at the track. And then you do it on the other side. Maybe you do three rounds each side. And it's a pretty awkward movement. This is what Willig struggled with. All right, so let's put it all together and go over hurdle. So we can talk about several things that went right and some things that went wrong in this clip. The first thing that went right is that I have a nice strong knee drive with my lead leg coming in. Um, so you can see that the power knee comes up and I pull my ankle up and I have a nice strong pull through with my uh, opposing arm and my trail leg is close to my butt and I pull that in nicely. Um, something that went wrong is that my lead leg was not so straight when I pulled it up. You can see it's sort of going over a bit sideways. Jeff Ainsley would have my head for that. Um, but other than that, it looked okay. And here's another hurdle clip. Um, so you can see here the sort of crookedness of my lead leg there and the pull through arm should really be a little more bent. Uh, but other than that, it looks okay. Uh, I get my body nice and low. My hips are a little high over the hurdle, but that just comes with practice and confidence and going over the hurdles. Um, you should definitely practice with a barrier before you do a real steeple. Uh, it's a whole different mental game. And then here's another sideways clip. That one looks pretty good. My hips are a little lower. My uh, pull through arm is more bent. Now we get to the dreaded water jump. So, this is where you want to speed up into the jump. You really want to go for length here. I'm a little high on the barrier. Um, I could be a little lower and save a little energy and uh, put all that energy into going further. Um, but you, you basically just want to, even if you have to stutter step a little bit, you want to be uh, lined up to push off of the barrier. You want to be pushing forward, not up as much as you can. You basically just want to rock over on the foot that you put on the barrier and then push forward with it once you get there. 
and I would definitely practice this into sand rather than into water or the closed steeple pit. It's just so much easier on your joints.